alligators, it's Allie Hardesty and today's video I'm super excited about because I think it's going to help a lot of people. If there are any videos on my channel I feel like you should truthfully watch until the very end. It's this one because there's a lot of helpful advice in here and take it from me because I have been in a lot of relationships that have had some um, you know really sad horrible terrible bad endings that are really hard to get past and just a lot of drama and you don't need that in your life. This is not to say that I have taken my own advice every single time but the times I have actually implemented what I'm going to be talking about today. My breakups have gone much smoother. I have been able to get over that person a lot quicker and move on with my life and time is the most valuable thing we have so why would you want to waste any more time crying over your ex because it's just not worth it. This is not how to get your ex back. Um, I don't believe that you should do certain things to get them to come back to you. If that's meant to be, then it should happen naturally. But I'm telling you, they're probably going to come back when you do start to do these things because it's gonna make you highly attractive to them. You're gonna have a lot of self-respect and a lot of dignity walking out of the relationship, whether you broke up with them or they broke up with you. So I'm gonna get into the technical stuff first and then we're gonna get into like the more emotional part just because when we get to that part of the video, which will be towards the end, you'll feel like you've already made progress. I also wanna note that if you don't actually wanna get over your ex, this probably won't work at all. You have to actually stick to the things I'm telling you in this video. But the first thing I will tell you to do is you should change their contact name because it's like a classical conditioning thing. When they pop up on your phone, you see their name, you see those emojis, you see the picture, you hear the ringtone, whatever it is, change all of that. Make it super generic. Put their ringtone on silent, even block the number if you have to. What I've seen my friends do as far as changing the contact name goes is put douchebag, things like that. But if you want to take the more positive route, you could do an acronym, something that is really meaningful to you. For example, T-I-Y-L-N. This is your life now. That's empowering yourself to step away, don't answer their phone call, there's no need to, and move on with your life because you have bigger and better things coming. Another thing is to set realistic goals. Don't tell yourself that you will never talk to them again. Like, I'm never gonna speak to them again once I block their number. Be realistic, you probably will talk later on, but it needs some time. It needs a lot of time, actually. You need to be able to get over that person first. So in the meantime, write on a calendar. Make a mental note or a physical note every single day you go without talking to that person because there's a time and place for everything and you do not need closure right now. It's only going to make the wound deeper. Social media, block them, unfollow them, unfriend them, do whatever necessary to where you're not seeing their stuff. I know a lot of us will stalk that person afterwards. Block them if that prevents you from stalking them because that's only gonna hurt your feelings even worse and make the situation linger for longer than it needs to. So if you have anything with them on your page, like pictures, the hardest thing for me in relationships has been to delete pictures once the relationship's over because that makes it like super final for me. But after I've done that, it's been like the hugest stepping stone to where I'm like getting over that person for real. So definitely suggest that. If it's like prom or something, you don't wanna delete it, that's fine. But you have to really ask yourself, is this an excuse not to delete the picture or like, is it really because it's a prom pick? In addition to this, if you're one of those people who post things in hopes of getting a reaction from your ex, like you post a cute selfie, you're out with a guy or whatever it is that you feel like will get a rise out of them, don't <laughs> or especially make sure that they are blocked because you should not be living your life for them. You shouldn't have been when you were in the relationship. You definitely shouldn't now because you need to do you. Don't post things in hoping that it's gonna get a rise out of them or reaction or whatever you're looking for because that is crazy. <laughs> this next step is probably the most beneficial out of all of them. It is the one that has kept me grounded throughout any type of breakup, no matter how many times they reached out or no matter how badly I wanted to talk to them. And that is making a list of every reason why you do not want to be with that person, everything you do not like about that person. I know that sounds really negative, but it's necessary, especially in the first few weeks because you will want to talk to them. You will miss them. And our brains are conditioned to remember all the good times, not all the reasons why we broke up. It's sort of like a survival mode in our brain because humans, we do that. So you have to remember, oh, this guy cheated on me. This guy lied to me. This guy forgot my birthday. Whatever the reasons are, this list might make you feel sad, taken advantage of, angry, and that is what it's supposed to do because it will prevent you from talking to them. You will have a constant reminder. Put this in your phone, screenshot it so it's in your pictures. Make it your freaking background if you have to. Write it down if you prefer a physical copy and you have it in the cover of your binder, whatever it is. Nobody needs to see it, but it should be a concern concise list of like everything you can think of as reminders that you do deserve better and that it didn't work out for reasons. There was a reason that you guys broke up and that reason 
probably won't change because of what I've learned is that people don't change and there are certain circumstances that like don't change either so when you make that list it's gonna make it real clear in your head so you're not getting your heart and your brain confused this one's really important be careful who you talk about your breakup to and also keep in mind that the more you talk about it the harder it's going to be to get over because you already lived it once why do you want to keep living it over and over and over I understand that at first you're going to want to vent to people about it but if you vent to everyone about it they're gonna keep up with you and then you're gonna have to keep like following up like all the updates to all the people that you talk to about it and a lot of the time people will reflect their insecurities their desires their hopes and dreams and relationships onto you so if it's not lining up with like what they're thinking in their head they might actually make you feel worse because they're not looking at it from an objective standpoint especially if they know the other person that you were dating or they really want a boyfriend and they haven't had one in forever and then you just broke up with yours they're gonna be like no you should get back with him if that makes sense it's just kind of like an example so then you're gonna be really confused like did I make the right decision and going back and forth about it you probably did if you made it to the end of this video like as far in the video as you are right now you probably made the right decision and you're obviously looking to move on from that person or else you would not have even clicked on this video so that leads me to my last and final thing I'm gonna talk about today which is moving on like putting yourself out there and that doesn't necessarily mean with the opposite sex or like to get another boyfriend or girlfriend or a rebound it just means put yourself out there distract yourself go out with your friends have fun don't sit alone in your apartment feeling sorry for yourself go out there and remind yourself how likable you are because sometimes you tend to forget that in relationships because you're so stuck with that one person and it's a really good feeling thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that some of this advice helps you out if you would like to leave your story in the comment section below or like what's going on with your love life i'm honestly really curious to hear and i'll be replying to comments so go ahead and do that also please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you want me to do more advice videos and if so leave comments below on like what kind of topics I'm an expert on relationship advice I would say because I've been in enough relationships and I've had enough failed relationships to know what it takes for one to succeed which that'll happen one day right so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time later alligators bye